Hello everyone. Our today's topic is place value. Units, tens, hundreds and thousands. We will be learning about place value of digits in a number as units, tens, hundreds and thousands using examples. As you have learned in grade 1 and 2, place value is the value of a digit in a given number which depends on its position or place in that number. In grade 1, you learned about two values of digits that is units and tens and in grade 2 you learned about a third value that is hundreds today you will learn about fourth value of numbers that is thousands let's take the example of colorful buttons to learn about these place values you already understand that one button is one unit. Ten buttons are ten units. When we group together the ten buttons, say put them in a jar, it becomes one ten. Similarly, when we group together ten jars of buttons, say Put them in a carton, it becomes 100. Each jar has, has 10 buttons, so the whole carton has 100 buttons. 10 by 10 is equal to 100. Now the thing to learn here is, if we group together 10 cartons of buttons, say putting them in stacks with each carton having 100 buttons, the total will be 1000 buttons. 10 into 100 is equal to 1000. So each stack of the cartons will have 1000 buttons. So 1000 is equal to 10 hundreds is equal to 100 tens is equal to 1000 units. Thousand is the place value next to hundred in a number. So let's take a number to understand its place. Four seven one eight. As you know, the place value starts from the left. The number has eight units. One ten. Seven hundreds and four thousands. When we write a number that goes beyond hundred, we put a comma after the digit that has place value of hundred. In the case of this number, seven is the hundred, so we will put a comma after it to separate it from the thousand value like this. 4, 718 4718 Now let's solve a problem to find the number and its place values by keeping in mind the previous example of buttons where one button is equal to one unit one jar is equal to 110 one carton is equal to 100 and one stack of cartons is equal to 1000. Here we have six stacks of cartons, of buttons, two separate cartons, nine separate jars and seven separate buttons. How many buttons are in total? Let's use a place value chart to make it easy. Thousand, 
hundred, tens, unit, six to nine seven. Starting with units, we have seven buttons separately, so we will write seven under units column. Jars are equal to tens, so we have nine tens. We will write nine under tens column. Cartons are equal to hundreds, so it means we have two hundreds. Let's write two under hundreds column. A stack of column represents a thousand. So we have six thousands. Let's write six under thousands column. So the number we get is six two nine seven six thousand two hundred and ninety seven. Therefore, there are six thousands two hundred and ninety seven buttons. In this picture, now that you have learned about units, tens, hundreds, and thousands separately, let's see how we identify them in a number: five, zero, eight, one. In this number, how many hundreds are there? Zero, as it is third from left. That is the place of hundreds. And how many thousands are there? Five, as it is fourth from the left. That is the place of thousands. Therefore, five thousand eighty-one. One seven three eight. In this number, how many units are there? Eight, as it is. First from left, that is the place of units. And how many thousands are there? One, as it is fourth from the left, that is the place of thousands. Therefore, one thousand seven hundred and thirty-eight. Two eight three nine. In this number, how many thousands are there? Two, as it is fourth from the left, that is the place of thousands. And how many tens are there? Three, as it is second from left, that is the place of tens. Therefore, two thousand eight hundred and thirty-nine. Using the place value chart, we can expand a number, meaning that we can write the unit tens, hundreds, and thousands separately. For instance, we have number six three five one. Let's expand it using the place value chart. Thousand, hundreds, tens. Unit six three five one. So the number has one unit, five tens, three hundreds, and six thousands, and it means that one unit is equal to one, five tens is equal to fifty, three hundreds is equal to three hundred. Six thousands is equal to six thousand. So the expanded form is six three five one is equal to one plus fifty plus three hundred plus six thousand. We hope now you have learned about place value, units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. If some concepts are not clear then replay the video again and again Still if you have some questions then ask your teacher